balance, coordination, the mental stability of the fighter. These qualities are difficult for a spectator to pick up on between blows in the ring. But as USA certified trainer Rafael Marti explains, those invisible variables are the pillars behind a successful boxer. The mental toughness and the commitment to the sport and the understanding of what it takes to, to be good at this sport. Is an okay. hour enough right. to figure that all out? Well, right there, we'll see. You have to learn how to stand up. Okay. okay. So why don't we do that? This is a big one. Feet diagonally parallel to each other gets you balanced and ready to move in different directions. And then well, you're going to have your hands right up here. Okay. That's another biggie. Protect that face. Something I forgot to do a few times. Oh, oh, no. oh no. We'll circle back to that in a bit. Once the stance is solid, time to start learning the punches. Raphael first taught me the jab. One with the left, two with the right. right. Oh, straight. Okay. Just right hand. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay. The hook. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. It's beautiful. Come on. And the uppercut. Left uppercut. Right uppercut. The hook. Right hand. Jab, jab. Good. After I sort of got the hang of those, he taught me how to deflect with moves like rolling under his fist, leaning back, and then the slip. Basically just moving your head to the side. Slip. Right hand. Now the tough part came with doing a series of those moves together. And then protect. I found myself getting mixed up a lot. As well as forgetting to protect my noggin. <laughs> Again. I got clocked. Excellent. <laughs> And that's where conditioning exercises come in. Like jump roping, it helps the athlete work on rhythm, keeping their hands up, and being in control. What I teach is you have to be in control of the rope. Okay. In the sport of boxing, everything is about control. Okay. How hard are you going to punch? Mm -hmm. How fast are you going to punch? Oh, you definitely done this before. Conditioning trains your body to move in different ways quickly, emphasizing coordination. You're taking one little step back. As the lesson went on, I was feeling good, more empowered, more confident. Raphael knew exactly what I was talking about. This is what I find peace, believe it or not. And this is a contest sport, mm. but it's all the effort that goes into it. It's as much as a contest with yourself than it is an opponent. Exactly. And it's the 42 that we were talking about mm. before. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay? Three, two, three, two. The final Over. exercise Over. of stringing right all those Over. moves together, Over. rapid Over. fire. Over. Right here. <laughs> <Over. laughs> two, three, roll. That was awesome. Good job. Am I the Olympics yet? <laughs> Along with the gallons of sweat I produced. Going into this, I, I knew there was a lot of conditioning involved, a lot of strength, but I didn't know. The coordination part never really clicked with me, but that's like number one. It, it, it's paramount. For how long can you do this? Come on. I gained a new appreciation for those who step in the ring representing Team USA with steady hands and razor sharp minds. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah, that was awesome. Absolutely. I gotta sit down. Thank for NBC5, I'm Vanessa Mishanya. Whew. Well, good for her. Are you interested in starting your own boxing career? Marty is trying to expand his program, hoping to transform athletes into Olympic hopefuls from right here in our backyard. Get in touch with Plattsburgh's Rec Center for more information.